right, next question. This comes from Lourdes. I have had dreams that have come to pass. This person uh -huh. says, are all dreams from God? If not, how can I discern when a dream is not from God and just a case of indigestion? I ask because I have a lot of very vivid dreams about spiritual things that are very clear and which have come to pass later. No, all dreams is not of God. There is some dreams that are. Give me the book of Numbers. Let me get a move fast because I don't want to drag around with this. We're in a dream state now. Amen. Yes, there are some dreams that are of God. In fact, God spoke, I believe, to Moses and Aaron and Miriam and talked about how God will deal with man through dreams. In the book of Numbers, chapter 12. And uh, then you better get Joel 2.28. And that established, yes, how God will work. And then after that, I want to go dream crushing. Mm. Yeah. All right. In the book of Numbers, chapter 12. Come on. And we'll start at verse 6. Yes. Oh, we'll start at verse 5. All right. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. Uh -huh. And they both came forth. And? And he said, hear now my words. You know, Aaron and Miriam rose up against the prophet, right. Moses. Amen. One was his blood brother and the other was his sister. Right. And I felt as though that they can just say things that shouldn't be said. That's right. But God heard it. That's right. And uh, it didn't set well with God at all. No. God told them, come out ye three to the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And now God began to lay them out and lay law to them. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. And he said, hear now my words. I want you to hear my words. If there be a prophet among you. Listen at this. If God it, says, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord, I the Lord will make myself known I unto will him. make myself known to him in a vision. I will come to him in a vision and, and will speak unto him. Then I speak to him in a dream. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, some dreams, some dreams are of God. That's right. The Bible says in Joel 2.28, that it shall come to pass. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. prophesy. Old men shall do what? Dream, dream. Let's read the whole thing. Joel chapter 2 and we're at verse 28. All right. And it shall come to pass afterward. Afterward. That I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Notice. It says afterward. It's going to come to pass Afterward. Afterward. That means something going to happen after something else happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass afterward. That I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And what is it? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men, old men shall dream dreams. And your young men, young men shall see visions. Shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out of my spirit. All right, there's some. So that let you know, yes, there's some dreams that is of God, and God make Himself known, and God may show things. Right. Now, dreams also come. Because you're mentally and emotionally busy. That's right. You come through a multitude of business. That's right. That can cause you to dream because you got a lot on your mind. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this. I believe in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yes. You better move fast, son, and stay ahead of me now. Amen. All right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5. All right. And we'll start reading at verse 6. Follow me. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh. All right, verse 3. Mm -hmm. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business. Now. Sometimes people have a lot on their mind. That's right. A whole lot. And as a result of a lot on their mind, they start dreaming stuff. That's right. right. Dreaming stuff. Somebody who got the itch of wanting to preach so bad, he started dreaming he's in the pulpit. Or he right. started dreaming he's standing on a mountain. Or he started dreaming he's up somewhere in the bell tower. <laughs> Amen. Ringing something. That's Amen. right. Somebody who wants to be rich. He may dream he's waddling around in a bunch of money. <laughs> That's right. That's and right. a bunch of money. When I was a child, I always wanted to fly. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of children that can identify with that. I always wanted to fly. <laughs> and looking at superheroes on television didn't help me now. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, when I was a kid, looking at them fellas, them cartoons, hey, help me not. Thank God, hey man. Uh, when I was a child and I see Superman, my next move was go get me a long towel. <laughs> get a long towel. And my mother would get a, them big safety pins, you know. That back then they had diapers, you know. They had these old pampers now. She'd get them big safety pins that's blue on the end or yellow on the end and put 
that thing in there and that I wanted my towel to hang. <laughs> Amen. And when it hung at a reasonable length, I take off running down the street to make a breeze. That's and it start moving then. And then by the time I go to bed and in my dream, I was flying. <laughs> I was flying, flying. That was a lie. I dreamed a lie. A lie. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. I dreamed a lie. But yet, I had a lot on my mind. That's right. Now, the danger in that today, do you know there's a lot of nuts in the pulpit because they dreamed they was preaching? That's right. And because of a dream and not being able to differentiate God dealing and God making based upon, based upon uh, what they personally feel like doing. I have heard what the prophet said. Listen, marriages that broke up through dreams. That's right. Because the husband believed what he dreamt or the wife believed what she dreamt. Right. Marriages have took place because of a dream. Some Amen. old fool man came to a woman in a church that he don't even know and says, Sister, uh, Sister Beulah, the Lord showed me to you, uh, showed you to me and told me I was your husband. Well, Beulah got overwhelmed. Amen. Beulah. I am against them. Beulah got overwhelmed. That's it. Thank God I fell into a trap and married a man that's already married. That's right. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. Not only that, these devil sent agents that's called preachers yeah. is in the pulpits of the world and tell you the Lord came to them in a dream and told them that the world will end. The world, according to these men, supposed to have in 2012. That's right. Mm -hmm. Supposed to have in 2014. Oh, yeah. Supposed to have ended sometime in, in the 1930s. Yeah. Every decade, a nut come along nut. and said the Lord gave them a dream, the world going in. Right. All right, listen at this. I wanted to show you this real good. Now, Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 26. All right. I have at verse 25. All right. I have heard what the prophet said. God said, I heard you. I heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies in my name. That prophesy lies in my name. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have. I told you this is written here. That's right. And uh, wait a minute. And what kind of prophets are they? Prophesy lies in my name. Wait a minute. They, they prophesy lies. How? In my name. They, they come in the name of Jesus Christ. That's, That's right. It. That's prophesying right. lies in my name women get up in the name of jesus christ god call and send me to preach the gospel that's right L liar <laughs> that's right huh? that's right huh? i have heard two men you. two men two men come together yeah and said god it, billy tell fred that uh, God gave Fred to Billy. My Lord. Liar! That's uh, right. Do That's you get right. what I'm telling you? That's uh, right. Do you hear? Do you I, hear? I have heard what the prophet said. These old hell-bound preachers come along and said God came to them in a dream and tell them there's nothing wrong mm. with uh, uh, condoning yeah. homosexuality. You know, these men have no conscience. That's right. They're full of hell. That's right. And they're full of that devil out of hell. That's right. Do you hear the word of God? The Bible is talking. I and the heard. reason why these fellas would lean to a dream and ignore what the Bible says because they have no respect for the Bible. They have no regard for the Bible. They have no honor for the Bible. Right. And they have no fear towards God himself. That's Amen. right. All right, son. I have heard what the prophet said. God said, I heard you. That prophesy lies in my name. In my name. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Don't you see the preachers come on television Amen. and look and they say, wait a minute, it came to me a dream, it came to me in a dream. Yeah. And the Lord told me to tell you there's $10,000 in the house, you old $10,000 liar. That's right. Use a liar, the Lord ain't told you nothing. That's uh, right. That's just a thief. Amen. Uh -huh. I have heard what the prophet said. I heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies that prophesy in my name. lies in the name of Jesus Christ. Saying, I have dreamed, I have, I have dreamed, dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be? How long is this going to go in, on? In the heart of the prophet. Where is it located? In the heart of the prophet. It's in the prophet's heart. Right then it let you know it's wicked. That's but right. the Bible said the heart is the most deceitful thing. That's right. And desperately wicked. So yeah. no, every dream don't come from God. No. You have to know the scriptures so you don't take a dream and tell a lie on God and say the Lord said Amen. so. That's right. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Amen. And when you know the scriptures and have it right, you won't err. No. Amen. You won't err in your vision and you won't stumble in your judgment. All right, let's get a few more questions and then we'll pick up Acts 238. All right. This question asks, is it possible to be saved if you die without having the Holy Ghost? 
Would God speak to your soul in the grave to save you, or is it too late? No, God won't reach in the grave to save you. No. no. Amen. Salvation is given to the living. Amen. Amen. The Bible said the dead know of nothing. God tells the living to tarry until you be endued with power from on high. Amen. A dead person can't tarry. No. A dead person don't know anything. Right. So don't wait till you die. I advise you right now. Amen. Repent. Amen. You better do it now. Amen. Uh, amen. Glory amen. to God. Every country, everything under the sun right now that's watching, you might as well come on and come out of the religion that you're in, come out of the church that you're in, leave your pastor, leave your uh, false church, take, take your position and flush it down the toilet that's right. and just come on and march to water. Amen. Repent. Amen. Be baptized in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ and then tarry while you're living. Amen. So the Lord will fill your wicked soul with the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right. Is it true that God is an apostle? Can the title apostle be placed on God? No. 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 Hallelujah to Amen. sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen. You better give me yeah, You better give me John 4:24, Amen. and then you better give me Hebrews chapter three Hebrews and verse three one. Verse one. First, let's establish the nature of God. John, John. And, uh, 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 just a minute, and then you better give me after that. Give me Luke 9, uh, 7, 49, if you will. Right. I got to show you who's sent, and who's called, and who's made. Yeah, uh -huh. right. John, Saint John chapter four and verse twenty-four. Follow me. God is a spirit. What? God is a spirit. God is a spirit God is a spirit and they that worship God must worship him must worship him in spirit and spirit and in truth and in truth. truth now the nature of God is spirit spirit so it's incorrect to say God is an apostle that's right that's right God promised he will send apostles that's right Luke 11 49 Luke chapter 11 and at verse 49 listen therefore also said the wisdom of God now wait a minute the same God the spirit right. he's saying this that's right he's talking now mm -hmm. all right therefore also said the wisdom of God and I will send them wait a minute Wonderful. I will send them will send them prophets Prophets and apostles and apostles and some of them they shall slay some of them they gonna kill and persecute and you're gonna persecute That's All right. right, you better give me uh, Hebrew 3 and 1 Hebrews chapter 3 and that verse 1 oh. I want to show you this because that's a very good question mm -hmm. Pastor Jimmy you preach Jesus Christ is God yes yeah. I preach Jesus Christ is God and I preach there is no other God but he That's thank right. God but God never was an apostle no. God never will be an apostle right. but yet Jesus was an apostle. That's right. Here, right. here, here, here That's now. Right. Thank right. God, I want to give you something to reach after. <laughs> Glory to God. Here, I right. said, Jesus Christ is God. That's right. But God never, never Man. was an apostle, Man. and Jesus cannot be an apostle. Uh, uh, she cannot be an apostle. Right. Yeah, he was. That's it. Mm. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. One Wonderful. part of him couldn't, couldn't. but another part That's was. Right. That's Amen. right. One part always exists, and the other part was sent. That's right. Uh -huh. mm. All right, let me show you this. Hebrews chapter 3 and at verse 1. Hebrews 3 and 1 says, Wherefore, holy brethren, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. What shall we do? Consider the apostle. Consider who? The apostle. What? And high priest of our profession, uh -huh. Christ Jesus. Wait a minute. And then Luke eleven forty nine says what? I will send them prophets. Wait a minute. I will send. I will send them I prophets. I will them. Prophets. Prophets. And apostles. I'm going to send them? I will send them. Luke eleven forty nine says what? I will. Thus saith. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. I want you to know who's talking. Right. Wonderful. I want you to know who's talking. That's Amen. right. Who's talking? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. What do God wisdom say? I will send them. What? Prophets. And who? And apostles. Now Hebrew uh, 3 and 1 says. Wherefore holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling consider the apostle and high priest of our profession Christ Jesus. The wisdom of God sent him. That's right. That's it. That's God's wisdom. That's right. That's God's wisdom. The wisdom of God That's it. sent, sent the son of God. Amen. That's right. And the son of God was an apostle. That's Amen. right. And God which was the spirit that was in that son, Amen. 
was the preacher inside of the apostle. That's, right. That's why you hear the Son of God saying, I do nothing of myself, no, so. but as my Father dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. In other words, God was the power of the apostle. That's, That's right. it. Wonderful. And That's, right. That's why the Bible said Christ was the wisdom of God power and of God. Christ was the power, power of God. That's right. So the spirit that was in that body, the spirit was the driving force. That's it. But That's the it. body was an apostle. Amen. And not only that, here, here, the body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed, not only was it an apostle, it was a prophet. That's, That's right. Mm -hmm. For Moses said, God is going to raise up a prophet like me. Like me Him Wonderful. shall you hear in all things. Amen. An apostle is God called, God sent. God made, yeah. God anointed, and God taught. That's God right. is not taught. No. Oh, no. God is not made. No. No. Uh -uh. Who can make God? No, God, no. Wonderful. Nothing is revealed to God. No, no. Man. He know all things. That's right. Man. But that body that he made had the title apostle, had the title minister, had the title servant, right. had the title my lord, had the title shepherd, had the title lamb. Right. Amen. An apostle is the one that's called and sent. God, the eternal spirit, Wonderful. is not an apostle. That's right. He is the teacher Wonderful. in the apostle. That's, That's right. That's what that is. Wonderful. All right. Brother John says, I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. How do I fast? How do you fast? Mm -hmm. Very good question. You don't fast like the heathen, that's for sure. That's for sure. You don't fast like the heathen or the hypocrite. Amen. Let's itemize how you fast. Mm -hmm. Now, for years, many so-called Pentecostal and apostolics <laughs> have said, when you fast, it's from six to six. Mm, right. Mm. Have you heard that? That's Amen. It. Amen. They say when you fast, it's from six to six. And the scripture they use, when the Bible said there's 12 hours in a day. That scripture ain't said nothing about no fasting. No. Did it? No. no. It ain't said nothing about fasting. Amen. 12 hours in a day. All right. It's 24 hours in a day. Amen. But you got 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night. Amen. Eh? That's right. Amen. But when it says 12 hours in a day, we're not talking about fasting. When you read the word of God when they fast, you don't see what it is of 12 hours? No. Man, the whole day went by. Amen. They was fasting, didn't eat nothing, didn't drink nothing. That's right. Wasn't chewing no gum. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sucking on a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to show you how to fast, and I'm going to show you how not to fast. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 16. All right. Moreover, when ye fast. Moreover. 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 This is how you fast. When ye fast. When you fast. Be not as the hypocrites. First the Bible tell you how not to be. That's, That's right. right. Don't be like hypocrites. Of a sad countenance. Walking around want to show everybody. I'm, somebody say, what's the matter with you? Oh, I'm fasting. I'm, I'm going through. <laughs> That's right. You going to fast three days and three nights? You ain't got to make no announcement to everybody. No. I'm fasting three days and three nights. Well, you, you don't get up in the church and testify saints. Pray for me because I'm ready to go on a five day and five night fast. That's, yeah. that's between you and God. That's right. There ain't nobody business how long you going to go. That's, that's right. supposed to be between you and God. That's that's it. It. Yeah. Amen. That's it. All right, son. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites. Don't come as hypocrites. Of a sad countenance. Uh -huh. For they disfigure their faces. They disfigure their faces. That they may appear unto men too fast. That they may, they do this. So they can appear unto men. They want to publicize what they're doing. That's right. That's right. Like folks in jail go on hunger strikes and want to fast as if the government care. Amen. The government don't care if you die in prison. That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. All right. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. When you come out supposed to be fasting, but you publicizing it and you want everybody to know it, you ain't going to get no blessing from it. No. That's what it's meant. You have your reward. Your reward. That means God That's ain't going to step in and answer none of your prayers. That's right. He's not going to give you nothing. That's right. Because you're faking. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But thou. Uh-oh. But thou. Now, bless it. God, he going to lay low. That's it. Mm -hmm. But thou, you. When thou fastest. When you fast, you better do it a different way. Anoint thine head. Wait a minute. Anoint your head. Now you just get some oils, a bottle of virgin oil. You can just go to the store and get it. And you ain't got to bring it to me to pray over it. No, that's no. Right. You can pray over your food. You can pray over your oil. Amen. 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 I don't mean go get a can of Crisco lard, nothing like that. Yeah, that's right. No. no. <laughs> Amen. Now when you anoint your head, the Bible says, 
<laughs> the Bible said it all. Then you done decently and, and in order. order. You ain't don't have you don't have to get oil until it's running down your face until your face no. is shining like no. bacon grease. That's just bad. Not that. No. And you don't have to listen. When you anoint your head, you anoint your head. Up there. This is your head. That's it. Not here. Forehead. Right. Head. Head. Not forehead. That's it. It didn't say put a cross here. No. No. Anoint your head. Anoint thine head. What did he say there? Anoint thine head. 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 Cover your head. Oh, no, that's right. Amen. When you, when you anoint your head, I don't mean you got to have your forehead shining and <laughs> tell you to like, uh, look like your head been buffed with armor all. Amen. <laughs> There's a right way to do something. That's Man. right. All right. But thou, when thou so fastest, said, God, when you fast, anoint thine head. You better anoint your head. And wash thy face. You wash after. You anoint your head. That's right. Uh-huh. That thou appear not unto men too fast. Uh-huh. But unto thy father which is in secret. Wait a minute. How? But unto thy father which is in secret. No, go around and publicize and let everybody know you on that fast. In uh-huh. secret. Do it. Secret. Secret. Between you and God. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And thy father which seeth in secret. What? And thy father which seeth in secret. God that see you. Mm-hmm. While you're in secret. Communicating with him. That's right. Secret means one on one. That's right. Amen. You done got away from everybody. Wonderful. You're in tune with him. That's it. Amen. Your mind is just focused on him. Your heart. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. It's just all focused on him. That's secret. Secret. You know, one scripture talk about your secret closet. Right. Yeah. Now, now, I don't want y'all to take that literally, literally now. <laughs> Amen. And you run inside your closet in your home. And when you fast and pray, you go in your closet and just duck from everybody. Amen. Amen. Father can't find you. Mother can't find you. Amen. And they, they, they got the police while looking for you. Mark yourself in. And you somewhere hiding in the closet behind your jacket, <laughs> ducking behind the trench coat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that. No, no. Because people are zealous, you know. That's right. Amen. So uh, it don't mean that. See, your, your, your closet means uh, your private place, private time. Private. private time. Just you and God. That's yeah. it. You, you're separated from everybody during this time, and you're offering up your body. You're offering up your mind. You're offering up your prayers. Oh, Glory yeah. to God as the smoke of incense that's burnt. Thank right. God, and, and it smelled good in God's nostrils. Right. You go before God in prayer. Now, that had to balance out also when a woman pray. If she's fasting, she got to be prayerful. So during that duration, she got to have her head covered also. Yeah, also. You can't That's be right. fasting and praying bareheaded. bareheaded. Oh, no. oh, no. And brother, That's while right. you fasting, you can't have your head covered. That's no, no. You can't have Amen. nothing on your head Amen. while you are fasting. Amen. And the woman, while she's fasting, she got to have her head covered. That's right. right. Because she got to go before God in prayer. Amen. And he got to go before God in prayer. That's Amen. right. All right, now, you, you better go. And I believe to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah that chapter tell 58. us further how not to fast. Well, Isaiah chapter 58 and we're at verse 3. I want to get all the ingredients, you know. Yeah. Wherefore have we fasted, say that? Wherefore have you fasted, say that? And thou seest not. And you don't get no results. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? You afflict your soul. And thou takest no you know, knowledge. They, you know, wet fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People got wet fast. Wet. Mm-hmm. Huh? Amen. <laughs> People got wet fast, you know. They don't eat nothing, but they just keep drinking. Drink That's it. right. Keep drinking. That's no fast. No. no. Fast ain't nothing coming in your nothing, mouth, brother. Nothing, nothing. N- nothing to give you life. That's Amen. right. You know, because when you fast, you're suffering. That's, That's right. right. You chose the way of suffering. Amen. To offer up my body unto God and Amen. deprive myself from what I want. That's right. What my physical body want and what my physical body needs. That's it, man. If I'm fasting, I can't be tumbling like a weed with my wife. No. No, no wrestling. No wrestling. Amen. Yeah? No, no, That's a nice man. way of putting it, you know. <laughs> no, no husband and wife wrestling. Right. Amen. Amen. And no, no, no. Why? You're giving your body to, to God, God and not to each other. That's right. Why? Amen. Because you're fasting. And you're sacred between you and God. Amen. All right. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? And you don't get no results. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Uh-huh. Behold, in the day of your fast, the day you fast, ye find pleasure. The day. The day. That day. The day. 
in the day. That time that you're fasting, yeah. during the period of time that you're fasting, Amen. he find pleasure. Here you out here finding pleasure. Finding pleasure. You Amen. ain't got to be as finding pleasure when you fasting. No, oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Sacred place. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's supposed to be your, you want to establish a more solid relationship yes, mm -hmm. between you and God. That's the time you want to get closer to him. That's right. No, I ain't doing no unnecessary phone talking. No. Not sitting around watching television, wasting time. That's right. No, not doing that. No, Find no. Pleasure. Amen. Huh? Wonderful. Wonderful. Find and play window Find shopping. Pleasure. That's right. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Just sitting around lollygagging. No. Oh, no. Not that. Amen. Sitting there playing PSP. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. No. That's right. Playing checkers. No. Amen. Pleasure. Pleasure. Playing cards. No. Pleasure. No. Pleasure. No. Uh -uh. Amen. Amen. Wasting your time texting just to see how somebody is doing. Who cares? You should be worried about how you're doing at this time. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. In other words, you're making, every, you're making every hour count during the time of your fast. That's Amen. right. Amen. Huh? That's it. All right. Behold, in the day of your fast, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure, pleasure and exact and all, you exact your all your labor. all your labor. Mm -hmm. Behold, you fast for strife and debate. Wait a minute, you fasting? You ain't got no time to be arguing and arguing. fussing and fighting. And you supposed to be fasting? That's right. Huh? That's right. No, no. You got to walk away from that argument. Amen. 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 Why? You afflict your soul. That's yeah. it. And you chose the way of suffering. That's, That's right. right. Can't be out there arguing and cussing and fighting and fighting. Ready to give someone a piece of your mind? You only, listen. You only you gonna give out so many pieces. You may only have a little bit pieces left. That's right. So you save them pieces while you fasted. Right. Amen. And That's right. behold, you fast for strife and debate. And what? And to smite with the fist of wickedness. You out there fist fight. Fist fight. <laughs> That's right. Amen. You supposed to be fasting. You out there fist fighting with your neighbor. That's Amen. Wicked. That's wicked, sir. You can't be doing that. No, no. Up in a brother's face in church or in a sister's <laughs> face in church, bumping each other, about to go at it, throwing your hands up, throwing Bibles around. That's no fast. Amen. That's hell deserving. That's Amen. right. You might as well go on and eat your chicken. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You might as well just go on and eat your chicken. That's right. All right, sir. You shall not fast as ye do this do, day. Do you hear what the Lord says? You shall not fast. Don't do it. As ye do this day. Don't do it. Some say, I'm going to do it. No, you're not. That's right. right. You shall Don't not do fast. It. God say, ye shall not fast. As right. ye do this now, day. Now, what is God teaching us? He's teaching us what he want. That's it. And what he don't want. And if you want to get results out of your fast, do it his way. His way. All right.